To enable QuickSync GPU for Unmanic, we need to do a few things on the outside and the inside of our container. Here on the container template settings page, we can see the instructions to enable hardware transcoding. For Intel, all we need to do is install the Intel GPU top plugin. So let's switch over to community applications real quick and do a search for Intel GPU top. It'll be the first item that pops up. So go ahead and install that. Unfortunately, there are no settings to configure for this plugin and it does replace the old deprecated method of having to modify the Go file. Once that's installed, come back to the container template and copy this section of text here. Command C on the keyboard, select the advanced view in the upper right corner and paste it into the extra parameters section. Command V on the keyboard and scroll down, hit apply and repull the container. Before we make any changes inside the container, it's important to note what generation of Intel CPU that you have. All QuickSync enabled CPUs support hardware transcoding. However, only the Skylake generations and newer support HEVC encoding and decoding. If you have a Braswell Cherry Trail, you can still use QuickSync GPU to decode the HEVC video while using the libx265 software encoder. If you have anything older than Skylink, QuickSync GPU will only support hardware transcoding for media with the H264 codec. This information may also come in handy for anybody that plans on using their QuickSync to transcode video with a media server like Plex or Jellyfin. Once you've chosen the desired codec, Select the encoder ending in VAPI to enable the hardware encoding and then hit submit. But before we're done, we then need to switch over to the advanced options. And then we need to select the overwrite additional FFmpeg options and enter the following text. VF format equals NV12 piped to VAPI comma HW upload. If you plan on enabling hardware decoding by selecting this box, you can disregard this step to add the custom FFmpeg option that we just entered. However, keep in mind that hardware decoding, while increasing the unmanic performance time, will result in slightly worse video quality. Once that's done, be sure to hit submit and restart the container to apply that to all queued media 